All right, got the heat going. Got um, I got a chamois in my hand, about ready to wipe down all this water since I just washed the truck to get rid of all the residue from the the wet sanding. So got the heat going. It's about 50 degrees inside the garage right now. 45 outside. So it shouldn't take much for the heat to get going. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tape everything off and then also uh, start doing some touch-ups that I need to do, hopefully with positive results this time. Um, it's time to get this thing like buttoned up and ready to go. I gotta get this thing done. I just, I really cannot wait no longer, but uh, I'll bring you back later. All right, next morning, I ended up staying up till about three in the morning working on this thing, so. Um, got to do a little bit of clean up here, like I threw a little paint right there, but I'm going to have to scrape that down a little bit. Um, anyway, I took the driver door off and I'll show you why here in a moment. Um, okay, I was not pleased about the lines here earlier because it was actually about half an inch lower and it didn't match up. It actually came about right here, so I went and fixed this, but it's a 10, 10 foot paint job. I mean, no matter what I did, it was just getting really nasty. So, uh, I've got a little red flake in here from fluttering off of the, the plastic yesterday. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, I've got a little overspray here. I've got to sand off. So, this is just flaked on. Okay, driver door. I mean, actually, the same thing happened over here with that kick panel. I had to readjust that one in order for it to fit. Um, had a burn through right there in the corner there. Um, so I re, uh, reshot some clear on that. Anyway, everything seemed down to 2000 there. So driver door, I got pissed off, tried fixing it and it got worse. So I just took the door off and I'm sanding it back down. Um, and then I'm going to recoat it all the gray on the front. I have to do it. It, it just looked like garbage. So I got to, I got to sand all this down. I mean, you could actually see what happens it, it like transitioned weird i mean like i even i got no excuse for this but uh yeah it is what it is and i gotta fix it all right my 10 foot paint job and why i say that is i'm what four feet from it right now it looks great but when you get sideways to it oh, let's see you can still see my run right through here and a couple ripples there I can't do anything about it now. It's too late. I'm just going to let it go. I just got to let it go. Alright, I'm sitting here on a timeout because I'm mad. Um, was buffing a little bit and the back sail panels of the, the cab where the red is where the uh, seatbelt goes, I kind of burned through a little bit. So now there's splotches of missing clear coat. But, ah, not What now? What now? So I got the pups out. We're sitting out here just chilling um i'll get around to uh fixing it eventually but i might just leave it like i said i have to just move on and nobody's ever gonna see it but me so i'll let the kids run around for a little bit and go back to work all right this is the roof i've uh buffed this one out i uh cut and buffed using mcguire's i do have the 3m stuff but i, I had the mcguire's too so i just wanted to use that up um anyway it's pretty nice up here. I mean, I do have squirrels. I have uh, a little bit of a scratch or something there from when I was sanding. Um, otherwise, it, you know, it looks really good overall. Like I said, this is a 10-foot paint job. Alright, getting close in on a few things. Um, I uh, scratched that through, uh, focus, I scratched through the uh, clear coat there. Okay, here we are. Do I fuss about it or not? I guess not. You know, you can tell I've got the uh, orange peel. You can see it right there. I'm not sure how to, to work that. Um, I can just leave it. Anyway, I'm, what I'm doing right now is washing the windows. So I just had the glass guy come out and uh, put these in. Now these windows are not in great shape. I mean, there's scratches all over the place. Uh, you can see the fuzzes. Um, they're scratched but they're usable so that's what i'm gonna do and look at that reflection back there this has all been buffed as well so that is too bad no one's ever gonna see it and my 10 foot paint job here this is this the um run that's somewhere right here 
I know where it's at. Um, front windshield is in. What a pain in the butt. I'm glad I didn't have to do it. So, getting these clips in, he, uh, he scratched the paint. So, I'm going to get a Q-tip out and uh, just dab a little paint on there. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or not. Um, I still have to buff the front section here and uh, one portion of the back of it, and that's it. All right, I was saying earlier, now everything is cleaned. Um, we got the windows installed, have heartaches, and, you know, step forward, step backwards. You know, it's all the same, I guess. But uh, I have to remind myself I'm driving a truck, not building a mansion. So this is it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with everything so far. Uh, yeah, the glass is pretty old looking. Uh, it's got scratches in it and ain't perfect, but it's going to work.